You can see these cute little faces displayed at the Royal Alberta Museum from June the 9th until September 16th. Tammy Karachik, Shaw TV, Capital Region. So adorable. <laughs> Whether you're a professional or you just sing in the shower, everybody needs to try karaoke. If for anything else, just to blow off a little bit of steam at the end of the week. Hit it. If you're coming with me, you need nerves of steel. Because I take corners on two weeks. After all, karaoke is supposed to be for fun. Tammy Karachik, Shaw TV, Capital Region. The pain of heart need not apply. 12 ISU Junior Worlds are taking place at the beginning of March in Minsk, Belarus. Tammy Karachik, Shaw TV, Capital Region. The 2012 Canadian Special Olympic Winter Games will be taking place February 28th until March 3rd in St. Albert. Tammy Karachik, Shaw TV, Capital Region. Right now, this area is just dead grass and really dry dirt, but Homesteader School wants to convert this into an outdoor living class. We're here today at the Jubilee Auditorium talking about their latest production of Love Lies Bleeding with Jean Grand Maitre. Perfect. Hope I got that right. Who wouldn't be tempted with all this makeup around? Hmm, maybe beauty would be nice. Nothing like trying a new look for spring. Yeah, exactly. Although the jury is still out about the benefits of dark chocolate, one thing is for certain, it's definitely delicious. Tammy Karachik, Shaw TV, Capital Region. I don't know, I can feel the pounds just sliding off. Cakes look and taste exactly like their flour-filled counterpart. Last year, the Brain Tumor Foundation's Spring Sprint raised $84,000, and this year they're hoping to surpass that. Tammy Karachik, Shaw TV, Capital Region. I'm Tammy Karachik, and we're here today with Lori Grine, pastry chef at Knickknick, and we're going to be making sticky buns. And these are going to taste exactly like the regular sticky buns, yep. almost as though they were made with flour. Yeah, they're quite sticky actually, and we uh, we like to use a little bit of extra in the bottom just to make them a little stickier. So okay, great. Okay. Almost anything can be upcycled from old purses, old dresses, and especially furniture. All you need is a little imagination. If I were a diabetic and about to eat this lunch, I would have to take one shot of insulin and another shot before a snack, another shot before dinner, and yet another shot before another snack. Luckily, at the end of this, I can throw this away. But diabetics, they can't. Tammy Karachik, Shaw TV, Capital Region.